AWS Cloud Demos. Today uh, we will continue to the second part of um, API Gateway plus Lambda Proxy Integration. Today we will uh, create a uh, calculator function um, and then we will test the Lambda function and then uh, in the part 3 of the video we will do a API Gateway integration uh, with the Lambda function and then um, uh, we will discuss the next uh, uh, features of API Gateway. Okay, so let's now uh, uh, go ahead and open up Lambda function. Uh, click on create function and make sure you're an author from scratch uh, the first option uh, go ahead and create a new function called uh, Kelsey um, and then I'm gonna choose node 18 in my uh, case uh, you can choose whatever uh, programming language you like uh, but from in my case I'm gonna choose uh, node.js 18 and then go ahead and choose the create a new role based on lambda basic lambda permissions so just uh, I'm gonna choose the default and basic CloudWatch uh, logs permission okay go ahead and click on create function um, this might take a moment uh, to create the function so basically what I'm trying to do is uh, create this lambda function and then we will do a API integration later in the API um, gateway um, and lambda integration part 3 um, so in this we I will just cover uh, only the lambda function and uh, we will test the land lambda once we cover it uh, okay so now that I have uh, created my uh, lambda function this is my lambda function okay uh, so what I'm gonna do is um, I, I would like to uh, I would like to uh, receive uh, some data okay um, so you can imagine like uh, any other calculator right like uh, you need a two operands um, so operand 1 and operand 2 and you can do uh, addition subtraction uh, multiplication and division on, on those operands and then um, uh, you will return the result back okay so this function uh, will do exactly the same thing but using API gateway plus uh, lambda function for now let's focus on uh, lambda function and then we will uh, go ahead and uh, um, create the API gateway in part 3 okay um, so let's start now I'm gonna receive uh, the uh, inputs uh, from my test event okay I'm gonna create an event later uh, once we create the uh, lambda function okay uh, then it will uh, then it will all make sense all right so now uh, let me create a operand <coughs> one sorry operand two we're gonna receive this o uh, operand one and operand two from uh, event uh, dot inputs okay so this is where I'm gonna receive the inputs from and then uh, I will also get the operation um, from the event uh, let me store something like result and then uh, I'm gonna write something like a small switch case which is having um, even dot operation like so all right and then uh, I'm gonna create a case called add in case of addition right I'm gonna store something back into my result which is basically the addition of op1 plus op2 because this is my two operands that I want wanted to uh, add add up and save it in the result uh, variable like so and then we will break out of this case and then you're gonna do the same thing for rest of the uh, cases like if you go back just copy paste um, copy paste right and then um, add a case for subtract add a case for multiplication add a case for division alright so I have uh, created a basic four uh, functions of my calculator okay and um, uh, basically it switches between uh, these operations um, based on the event dot operation so when we receive add it goes to this case when we receive multiply it goes to this case and uh, like so okay uh, I hope you got an idea from this and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the response back um, so I already sending the response back so what I'm gonna do is simply send the response uh, of result um, back like so and put result inside this JSON stringify so that you will be able to send the response back okay um, so that's it guys uh, this is a pretty basic basic lambda function okay uh, and now I'm gonna go and uh, test this out in the, the lambda function okay um, for that what I'm gonna do is go ahead and configure the test event I'm gonna say Kelsey um, and then um, I think you can leave the whole thing uh, like so but the uh, event 
should contain some data like um, inputs all right um, so let me just properly format inputs and then I'm gonna do something like p1 for example in my case let's assume that I have 45 on print 1 and I have open 2 which is of value 64 and that's my input and I'm gonna do something like operation um, which is addition I wanna add up and uh, uh, this is my operand 1 this is my open 2 uh, and the operation that I'm trying to do is add up these values okay and click on save um, format JSON okay sorry I think this must be double quote not a single quote that might be the reason click on save yeah there you go um, so now that you have created a test event okay just go ahead and test um, the lambda uh, you receive hello from lambda but what exactly happened is you haven't deployed your changes okay now go ahead and click on test again there you go uh, now they are add up and uh, it is it is sending the result as 109 okay that is correct and uh, I'm going to configure the event again I'm gonna say subtract this time and click on save close the previous execution result and click on test again okay so you haven't um, okay wait um, so there's something wrong here uh, let me go to configure event subtract okay I, I hope this is correct and then click on save it is already saved um, this is subtract okay deploy your changes maybe the name was incorrect um, click on okay that's fine click on test ah that's because we haven't changed the name we haven't changed the uh, operation right like that's the reason why you're having the same um, result again and again <laughs> alright so apologies for that uh, and just uh, use the uh, operators uh, respectively for subtract multiply and divide okay so now go ahead and deploy it and now you should be able to see the uh, correct replies okay and now it's it says there's a difference b um, between op operand 1 and operand 2 is minus 19 okay that's fine and go ahead and uh, uh, do another test which is divide okay let's go ahead and save it and close the previous execution result and click on test again so you should see uh, the different results based on um, the operation that you're trying to enter in the sample uh, test event right so that's the reason why you're getting uh, uh, these different uh, results okay so now that your lambda is ready uh, in the part 3 we are going to cover um, the API gateway integration with this lambda and then we will uh, uh, use the path parameter like we did in the previous video um, and then we will send the uh, operation uh, as a part of as a part of uh, path parameter and then uh, we will uh, return the result back uh, from this lambda to the API gateway and uh, um, let's go ahead uh, and do that in the part 3 video okay thanks guys thanks for watching this video and please like this video and do follow up this with this series I'm gonna discuss a, a lot of things on API gateway in this series and please subscribe and like the video and thank you so much I will see you in the part 3 video thank you